An explosive device found in the parking lot of one of Lebanon's biggest hospitals was detonated by Lebanese army personnel on Wednesday as the small Mediterranean country grapples with attacks targeting electronic devices. The army placed the device in a hole to safely detonate it after it was found in the parking lot of the American University of Beirut Medical Center. The controlled explosion took place as Lebanon was rocked by a second wave of exploding devices. Walkie-talkies and solar equipment exploded in Beirut and multiple parts of Lebanon on Wednesday in an apparent second wave of attacks targeting electronic devices. At least nine people were killed and more than 300 people wounded in the second wave, the health ministry said. This comes a day after hundreds of pagers used by Hezbollah blew up, state media and Hezbollah officials said. The new blasts hit a country still roiling with confusion and anger after Tuesday's pager bombings, which appeared to be a complex Israeli attack targeting Hezbollah members that caused civilian casualties, too. Tuesday's bombings killed at least 12 people, including two children, and wounded some 2,800 others. The attacks, which were widely believed to be carried out by Israel targeting Hezbollah, have hiked fears that the two-side simmering conflict could escalate into all-out war. The second wave also deepens concern over the potentially indiscriminate casualties caused in the attacks, in which hundreds of blasts went off wherever the holder of the pager happened to be, in homes, cars, at grocery stores and in cafes, often with family or bystanders nearby. A small airplane landed safely at Logan International Airport in Boston on Tuesday afternoon despite having just one of its landing wheels deployed. The Cape Air Cessna 402 had two passengers and one crew member. It had taken off from Logan and then returned, according to an official at Massport, which manages the airport, who said the plane had a landing gear issue. There were no injuries. Video showed the plane coming into the airport with only one wheel down and landing, with one of its wings resting on the ground. The plane was on its way to Bar Harbor, Maine, when the pilot was informed about an anomaly with the landing gear just after takeoff, according to Cape Air. Cape Air said the pilot of Cape Air Flight 1833 performed the appropriate checklist and landed the aircraft back at Boston Logan Airport. The plane landed at about 3.20 p.m. There was no information immediately available about the cause of the landing gear issue. 